Hey, welcome back to GT Canada. Today we're talking about boat lifts. Yes, it is spring in Canada. Summer is just around the corner. And if you've seen our other video, we picked up a boat lift in the winter and I showed you how to transport, how to pick up a boat lift, transport it to a new lake and drop it off. If you haven't seen that video, check out the link up over there. I will show you that one. But now I got a new problem. So the lake has thawed, the ice is gone, and now I need to get that boat lift into the water. I know I struggled all winter wondering how am I gonna get this boat lift into the water? But luckily for me, at our lake, we have guys who have done this many times before, and I wanted to show you the process that we used to get the boat lift into the water. So the first step was we had this little bobcat with a little bit of a ghetto modification on it made up of two by fours. So we've got three two by fours that are about 10 feet long with a hook on the end that's been attached to it. And they're just strapped to the forks of this bobcat. That allows us to get underneath the boat lift, lift it up and get it into the water. Now you can also see once it's in the water, we need it to go out a little bit further. So by hooking the, or pushing it, just hooking, putting the tip of the fork extensions onto the, the edge of the boat lift, we're able to push it out even further into the water. That frees it up for this fancy crane that's been rigged up to be able to pick it up and float it out to wherever it needs to go. Now, if you look at this crane, all it is is a floating barge or really just a floating deck. So we've built a deck out of wood, standard wood deck, and then put pontoons underneath it or barrels full of air or whatever something you can do to float it's got a small little kicker motor on the back it's a low horsepower 20 horsepower outboard motor running off of a jerry can essentially but there's this boom on it and the boom is just made out of a piece of piping of tubing and then there's a electric winch added to it that allows us to lower the hook down strap some, some straps onto the edge of the boat lift and then float it out to wherever you really need to go to put it in place. It takes quite a few guys just to wrestle this thing around, which you can see them all standing on the boat, getting ready to hook on and, and do whatever. And then once it gets to where you need it to go, you can lower it into position and fine tune it and whatever. You can drag it around if required. And then ultimately a guy goes out and just jumps up and down a little bit, make sure it's set in place before you unhook the straps and then go around and do the next one. Now, I totally understand that this is a fully operational program. And if you are out at your lake, you won't have these, this sort of equipment available. So the purpose of this video is strictly to show you an option that is out there. There are other options. There's commercially available options, which add uh, bladders essentially to the bottom of it. You can fill with air, make it float and take it out. I've seen guys use PVC pipe floating on the sides to get that and float it out. I didn't want to do any of the floating out options, mostly because the lake is still cold and I didn't want to go in the water. On the day when we put it in, it actually was snowing still. So it was really, the weather was not great for going in the water, but it was perfect weather for putting boat lifts in the water so that when the sun is shining, we're able to just go and throw the boat in at the dock and be ready to use it right away. That's all I wanted to show you real quick was on, was on how we did it at our lake so you can see some of the options that are out there. I know it was something that I researched a lot and came across different things. In the end, this worked really beautifully. We are going to be putting our boat on there soon uh, we're just trying to get it ready. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe down below. We're actually in the process of building that boat to be a budget surfing boat. And we are live streaming right now as we put it together. So if you're not subscribed, you can subscribe. And then when the live streams go live, you can watch us as we get that boat ready. It's close, but it's not ready yet. We've got probably a couple more weeks that we're going to work on that. And then it's time to put it in the water and, and get to work and have some fun this summer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of the other videos over here. We hope to see you again, but until next time, have a great day.